All right, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a basic table for your sky home. So I've started a new design. It's right now it's untitled. It is a good idea to save it early uh, so you know what you're kind of doing. I'll just call it table. And it's put it in your folder. Save. Okay, start a sketch. Uh, as always, this is pretty much the first button I always have to press. And then what orientation you want, it's up to you. But I'm thinking I'm going to look down on my table. So I start from the top. I'll treat you, teach you something new that I haven't shown you before. I'm going to build one quadrant of the table only. Uh, you're going to want to think about size. It's a 1 to 50 scale. So depending on the table you want, if I do it as a 10 centimeter table, that would represent a uh, so 1 to 50. It would be like 5 meters across, right? That's too big. So if I do, how big do we want? So if it's like a meter across, so that would be 1,000 millimeters divided by 50 is uh, 20, right? 20 times 50 is 1,000. So if I do like, um, and this is only a quadrant, so I'm going to do uh, maybe... 20 and then maybe I'll make it two meters long so one meter and then oh I'm doing because uh, I'm doing a quadrant I'm going to do it just 10 so then this one would be 20 and you'll see what that does so I can zoom in now and then you probably want four table legs so just a quick table leg I don't have to think too hard about that it's kind of up to you what you'd want so that seems like a good table leg and so I'm going to finish that sketch and I'm going to extrude the thickness of my table, which wouldn't be very much, uh, maybe a couple of millimeters. Um, it's up to you. Maybe, yeah, that's fine. And then I say OK to that. And it's just the main part of the table. Uh, but now I want to extrude the leg. It's gone. So I can reactivate that sketch by turning it on in here. And now you see that blue circle is right through there. It's accessible. I can extrude it grab that little circle, extrude it. And again, the height of your table, you're gonna to wanna to think about it somewhat, but maybe, I guess uh, that's too long, so 50 is too much, maybe 30. Um, oops, I think I accidentally hit enter. So I can always go back into things. Don't feel stress about making it the wrong size ever because you can always fix it later. It's one of my favorite things about Fusion. That still feels too tall, so the other way to do it is just by grabbing it uh, with the blue arrow and decreasing it. So let's try something like that. So now I want to pattern this. Rectangular pattern is your friend. It's like that. It is on bodies. The axis, uh, first axis, I'll open up my origin, is going to be um, looking at my diagram here like the, the X goes this way. So X should be good. Yeah, that's the blue one. And then it automatically picks the other one. That's fine. Uh, I could do, I could even do a mirror. Oh, that'd be fun. I'll show you both. So I want, um, I think mirror is even better, even better. I'm changing my mind on the fly here. Create mirror. And I want to look at it on the side a little bit. So I'm selecting that object. Mirror plane is now, got to zoom in maybe, that little guy. And we get the other half of the table there. And that's all I can do. I can't do the other one yet but I can create one more mirror plane, uh, mirror and select the whole thing. The mirror plane is now this tiny little surface right in there. And that's a join again, wonderful. And the last thing is I'll turn off that original sketch so it doesn't look a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, so I guess I've modeled it upside down. I could have gone the legs the other direction. It really doesn't matter. Um, if this were something I wanted to 3D print, I'd actually want to print it on the surface of the table, like in this orientation on the, on the 3D printer, right? Then it would not need support at all, and it would be a very easy print for the printer, and it would look quite good. So that's it for this little tutorial on how to make a table. Oh, maybe one last thing. Fillets, your friend. Sharp edges hurt babies. Don't hurt babies. So if you give it a little fillet, I could have done this on the original one, which would have saved me having to do it all four times, but... You know, it's not that bad. I think I have to hold control and then I can grab that and that fillet set. So I could go around and do all four or what I would probably do is go back into the timeline and do it 
properly. So it's the corner nearest to the leg. I'll fill it, that one right there. Uh, give it, say, four. That looks pretty nice, maybe a little less, maybe three. Okay, whatever you want, and I say okay. And then watch this as I move. I'll back out first. As I move the timeline back to the end, boom, fillets are already done all four times. It's more efficient to do it that way. Go back to the original that you made if you have any patterning and make changes. Okay, so that's it.